Hey yo, Omni Dogs, Omni Kittens. It's Omni Dog here with an overview of the Wonder Woman Silver Age Omnibus, which has been out for a while and I meant to do it a long time ago, but uh, I had to move, pack up, blah, blah, blah. Life happened. Here we are. So please remember to go to Organic Price Books where you can use my code OmniDog for $2 off and 5% off shipping three or more books together. That's where the big savings is. OmniDog, ship it together. Wonder Woman, Silver Age, Omnibus. Here she is rescuing Steve Trevor. Let's take a look at the spine. These are a pretty cool design. All the Silver Age books uh, seem to be carrying this one. The Batman Silver Age one had it too. And what I like to see is all the issues included. So that is cool. And let's take a look at the binding real quick. Whoop, this way. And I relaxed the spine. So let's see how the gutter loss is. Not too bad. Not too bad. Right in the middle of the book, we've got page numbers. Let's not start from the very beginning. Uh, same uh, nondescript black with the embossed name on it for Wonder Woman. Keep this right here so you don't forget it's Wonder Woman. And let's see what the table of contents looks like. So these are Andrew, Andrew and Esposito uh, for the art, which is really good because I really dug uh, Andrew and Esposito. And Gail Simone writes the introduction. So we know we're in for at least good art. Very good art. Now, wait, where's the table of contents? Ah, missed it. Here it is. So it's Andrew and Esposito throughout, which is great. 1958 through 1961. And here's the forward by Gail Simone. And we will just go through and look at the art. Steve Trevor, in love with Wonder Woman, she saves him regularly, but this is her first introduction to Steve Trevor in the Silver Age. Keeps man this man from landing on Themyscira. But Steve Trevor is smitten. And I'll save my comment about him for, here's the invisible jet. Now, one thing, let's see if we get, do we get covers? Yeah, we do get covers. So that's great. Here she is adopting her civilian identity, Diana Prince, to Steve, and he blows her off and doesn't figure out that it's the woman he's in love with. Gee, glasses over her face. Where have I seen that before? So these are actually really boss covers. This is, <laughs> this is the issue where Steve Trevor, uh, he's always getting rescued by Wonder Woman. He's in love with her. And he's basically Wonder Woman's lowest lane, where he keeps trying to trick her into marrying him. Uh, a, a wager or a, you know gambling with her, bet, making a bet with her, trying to fool her into marrying him, whatever. Uh, <laughs> whatever happened to love, buddy? So he's always trying to trick Wonder Woman into marrying him. He vows to get her to be his bride, and that plays out through the entire omnibus. Now, one thing that I will say 
for these stories, besides the great art, is that Wonder Woman doesn't use, doesn't always go to her super strength and her magic bracelets, her bullet bouncing off bracelets to solve the problem. She uses her brains a lot to figure out solutions. And I thought that was pretty forward thinking uh, of for the time that she does use her brains an awful lot just do, doesn't just necessarily pound her way with her fists out of the problem they they do she uses creative ways to solve the problems and steve trevor constantly flirting with her So these are well put together by DC with, with the page numbers, table contents, covers. This is a good sign because previous DC Omnis have lacked either table contents or page numbers or cover seps, separations, you know, cut covers separating the issues or all three. So you'd get confused. Aqualad and Donna Troy, Wonder Girl. Wait a second. Yeah, that is Donna Troy. Okay, I wanted to make sure that there was no time travel trick or something, yeah. I don't know that that's Aqualab, but he's definitely a merman, mer guy. I read this so long ago, I've already forgotten some of it. So that's why we're going through it. Nice glossy pages. Actually, these are pretty thick pages, I think. I know there's a lot of people unhappy with the thinness of omnibus pages. Paper's so expensive nowadays. The colors are beautiful on these glossy pages. Here we have... It's a whole thing of Wonder Girl. Wonder Girl in the Chest of Monsters. So you get some variety here. Wonder Girl, Diana Prince, Wonder Woman. What's happening here? She falls first into her cake. And some <laughs> a giant rock has stolen her cake. What is going on here? They just call him Merboy. That's Merboy. I feel like this is I feel like this is when, uh, this looks like Etta Candy, I think. Yeah, this is Etta Candy. Etta Candy, Lita Little, Tina Toy, Thelma Tall, reintroducing woman, Wonder Woman's 
friends, the Holiday Girls. I will be when you marry me. Why won't you say yes? I will, Steve, just as soon as my services are no longer needed to battle crime and injustice. So pretty much never. So this is pretty much standard Silver Age, Wonder Woman. I found it enjoyable to read because of the way they used her uh, intellect to battle a lot of problems. She certainly does use her su super strength and abilities a lot. And let's see if we have, I highly doubt with these Silver Age books that they have any extras. Oh, I was wrong. A letters page. A Whoa, look at all these letters pages. I didn't even pick up on this the first time I read it. This is cool. Uh, <laughs> and Wonder Woman's answering them. Wait, what's happening here? Bob Kaniger writes back to readers as Wonder Woman in these pages. So... Real people are writing in, and Wonder Woman is answering the letters that came in. Well, it's cool that they included all these letters pages. This is a good extra. Yeah. That is a really good extra. So there you go. That is the overview of Wonder Woman Silver Age Omnibus. Hope you enjoyed it. Please uh, remember Omnidog's Vault to hit the like button. Leave a comment if you like. Subscribe, please. Peace and love. Peace and love. Always appreciate everybody's support. Thank you so much. Peace and love. Peace and love.